So I got my um, case from Amazon since we're going to be organizing all my nail stuff today together. I'm so excited, you guys. I took off my gel right now. Um, and I'm going to be doing my nails. I think I want to attempt to do French tips, but I'm going to first come up with like the best technique that I feel is the most easiest. And then I can show you guys in a video, but I want to test it out first before I show you guys. But we're going to be organizing all of my nail stuff. It's like all kind of messy inside of here. Just want my nail stuff in one place. So this is actually the same exact case I showed you guys that I use for my makeup. The case for my makeup is a little bit bigger than this one. Um, and I literally put it underneath my sink so it's so convenient. So it's a tiny bit smaller. You can easily carry it around. Comes with the strap. Um, but we're going to be organizing everything inside of here. I'll link this down below for you guys. Because every time I show this on my IG, I get a ton of questions. Where would you get that case from? It's from Amazon. And you guys, I literally just made my strawberry shortcake um, smoothie. It's so healthy, you guys. It has collagen in it, banana, vanilla, but I showed this full recipe. So if you guys want to know how I made it, it's in my latest What I Eat in a Day. Oh my god, you guys, it tastes amazing. I cannot stand fruit. I'm not a strawberry lover or even a fruit lover, but especially strawberries. I can only have them like chocolate covered with peanuts or dark chocolate or inside of a smoothie that actually tastes good to me. So this combo I can literally drink and that's the way I feel like I get my fruits is by drinking them. Especially if you guys have a sweet tooth but you don't want to go for bad things like cake and stuff like that. Definitely make this. It literally tastes like you're having strawberry shortcake. It is 12.30 a.m. right now and I'm like, you know what? I don't know if you guys are like me but I get like energy at nighttime. I get most of my energy at like nighttime and I get this like random burst of energy right before bed and I will like listen to music. I, I don't know. I love this area over here for all of my nail files. I felt like that made the most sense. I want to finish up like my nails probably tomorrow and I still need to like file some stuff off. There's still a little bit of paint on here. Not paint but like gel polish. Um, and you guys, I almost missed out my cuticles because I think I pushed them back a little bit too much. Um, but my nails are still staying strong, you guys. This is the same set that I had on from the tutorial I did for you guys. Um, and they're still strong, so. Like buffers in one area. I can move this around if I need to after. But yeah, we're going to put buffers there. And then I have these more skinny nail files that I actually thought I needed more of. But I don't really, to be honest with you. These guys I use the most, especially to shape, like give myself my shape. And my drill, you guys, it does come with this like plug-in um, part. You can take it out. Like you can literally just have your drill in there like that. I might put it like at the end. Yeah, I think I'll just have it like this. Or I might find a different place for this. So you know what, let's just wait on that and i've kind of changed up these card things to how i feel would kind of match my kind of setup the best this little tiny corner over here fits my top coat and my two builder base that i have um so i'm going to be putting it here because these are kind of the same use and category so i want to keep them separate my nail glue is there this is also a top coat but to be honest with you guys this is not my favorite one. Like I find that sometimes it bubbles, whereas the one by Emily or whatever you want to call it, it actually works really well. So I'm honestly even thinking of like, it could be that this is older. I don't have a ton of them by this brand, the same brand as my top and builder. It's like, honestly guys, they're so nice. Um, I got a set that has like a bunch of um, pinks. This one, it looks like it's see-through guys. Can you guys see that? It looks like it's see-through, but it has a pink tint to it. And then it also came with a color that's so close to bubble bath, you guys. I'm going to be using this as a base too. I'm going to mix the two. I do a lot of mixing a lot of the times, but look at this color. It is such a pretty like pinky purple. I kind of want to categorize them by brand. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, perfect. And put these guys here. And I have this one random one that I also got from Amazon, but it was .ca, and I can't find it on the .com. But this color is so freaking gorgeous, you guys. 
Um, it's by V Shine. It's color 90486. And it's like this really, like, it just looks very different, honestly, than what it looks like here. It's just a really bare kind of nude. So I have some IBD colors too. This one is I'm No Damsel. This one is Ooh La Lace. This is the color I used in my tutorial. I love that. That's actually what I just took off. And this is Dockside Diva. Dockside Diva is a very, like, taupey beige. It's really gorgeous too when I just honestly don't know what else to do. It's a really good kind of, like, go-to. D&D. And they have such nice freaking colors, you guys. Like, they're so, so, so nice. Um, this one is color, I guess, it's eggshell. I haven't really used it. I thought I would be like so in love with it, but then I never really used it. It's just like a very like apricot kind of nude. I don't know. I feel like nudes are very weird for me. Like you would think I love all of them, but I don't when it comes to nail polish. Then I have some Bio Seaweed Gel Canadian Company, um, number 57 Moose. I have OPI. This is like, like this is the OG of all like gel colors. And also Love is in the Bears. This is definitely a color that you want to have it's a very like sheer pink this is the color i used in my first tutorial where my nails are short so it's definitely a must have so i have 022 i have 65 i have 108 107 um 36 110 19 and 116 this is really cute too you guys it's like a really, really like pale peachy nude almost for like springtime. It's a really good color. And then this other one by Bio Seaweed Gel. It's called Belly, um, Belly <laughs> Jelly Bean. And this is a really cute base. I didn't realize it, but it's a very cute base if you're doing like French because it's very like kind of sheer, but gives you that peachy pink. And I was like questioning like if I should try this out because I never have um, used it before. Then I have a sugar cookie, neutral taupey kind of nude. I haven't used this one either, but it is very, very cute. And the last color actually is this one called Snow Bear. I haven't used this one. Milky kind of creamy kind of nude. All of our colors are organized. Let me show you guys a little bit more of a better view. You know what? I'm just going to put one. Like, why do you need two, right? And why do you need so many here? So I'm going to show you guys. There's also a place where you can put um your extras and stuff so yeah let's not like crowd that up this file over here is what i used to like so right now i still have some color i need to take off of my nails right so sometimes i'll grab this and i'll then over here i haven't used these guys yet but these are nail forms you guys so you basically um take off the sticker put it by your um tip and then you can build your actual nail without having the tips on. So you don't need tips when it comes to this if you guys don't know about these. I haven't used them yet. I will once, like, let's say when I remove these. I think I'm going to try to do this and see which one I prefer. This is not something I use very often. So there's also, like, a flap over here I wanted to show you guys. Where you can put, like, a bunch of, like, extras. And then look at this. There's also, like a part over here and then also a zipper so i don't really use the specific like item too much too often then i might put them over there they can also go here if i really want to this guy over here is all of my obviously my nail tips so they can go here like this i didn't want to put my drill over there i can put it over here but when i'm organizing i like to see what i have and then kind of think about how I'm going to use everything. I also have my cuticle clipper, which I think you guys is breaking because I see like, I feel like the screw is gone there and when I really press it, it starts to twist. So I think I need a new one of these. Um, then I have these guys, which I'm not gonna be putting inside of here like this anyways, because you barely use these. It's only when you're wanting to do your samples. So this is where all of my colors are. I just kind of have painted everything on so i put them right over here you guys in the corner because i feel like that makes perfect sense then i have these like two manicure kits um that actually came with one of them came with the um drill so honestly these are very nice and compact and flat so you kind of want to keep them that way and i also have another one by bio seaweed gel i don't think they can 
they can fit here on the side but to be honest i don't really pull these out too often so i think i might put them on the top thing um this is the only nail polish i have um i bought this because i needed to fix my tips one time they kind of chipped and stuff like that so i bought that I got this y'all this is what I got to do my tip see how it's white this is color number 11 so I'm gonna put it there with the other guys cuticle pusher which is what I'm gonna put right next to that thing I'm actually gonna put it the other way because I feel like yeah I don't think that this is smart to put the sharp thing going up so we're gonna put it like that and I'm gonna put this edge going down there too you guys can also buy like a little pouch that you put it in first before you put it in there the next thing are the bits for my drills so they fit here perfectly on the sides which I think is so cute or I kind of want the glue to be somewhere a little bit snug these are just like extra bits um, that come with the drill and everything plus I'll link everything down below for you guys so you guys can shop it and I also did an Amazon haul, you guys, so make sure you guys check that out. The other thing I got was a bunch of these, but I only kept one of them. I just kept the white one off, um, and I'm going to put it over here. This is basically for, like, nail art. I just don't see myself using this, but never say never because watch me want it, and then I don't have one. And then, guys, I ordered this pack of brushes from Amazon, but I was so disappointed because when I got them, I'm like, these are so tiny. Like, in the picture, it kind of looks like they're double the size and don't get me wrong it also includes like I wanted this one to do like but yeah I wanted like brushes like these with the very fine tip to draw on the nail tips which is fine I got those but I feel like these ones are a little bit too small but I can still kind of use them I might also use this to like clean up any edges and stuff like that so I think these are the ones I'm going to keep mainly put them right at the top there you guys I feel like it just makes kind of sense there but, oh my god I think that's basically it you guys I just have the extras and funny enough if I were to get the bigger box like the size one above this I could have fit my lamp inside of here so that's something to think about you guys if you want to get a big one I'm going to put the cord right here. I'm going to take out these bits. We're going to flip this over. Yep, that fits. And then put... No, I don't want to put those guys in there. I think I want to put these guys here. The extra bits. The two manicure cases. Um, I think I want to put these guys here. Get over here. <laughs> wow, the struggle is real. Put these guys here. It also has Velcro here, so it keeps it very like neat looking. All of my tools are here. Yeah, we basically have everything organized inside of here. And right now it is 12.52 a.m. I know, babes. Um, so literally after last night when I was organizing with you guys at like 12 something, I automatically was like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Like, it just hit me out of nowhere, and that's just how it's been lately, and I feel so tired right now. But I've been going to bed, like, so late, and I hate that because then I get a late start to the day, and literally, I've been looking at the clock, and every day, it's, like, 4 or 5 o'clock, and I'm like, how? Like, where, where did you go? Where did the time fly to? Like, it's just crazy. Um, but you guys have been asking me to do something and I'm really excited because you guys know I am a coffee lover by the way just want to quickly say if you are brand new to my channel or my vlog my name is Steph and welcome to the channel if you are not subscribed yet make sure you guys do and also follow me on IG it is at Steph G Macedo plus don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified for every single new upload so you guys don't miss anything um, I literally just uploaded right now, um, uploaded right now an Amazon haul. It's like my 21 recent favorites that you guys can use at home that I've been using like pretty much every single day. So I share that with you guys. You guys love my last Amazon haul, so I figured I would do like an updated one. There's a new wedding in a day. I am working on a new one, you guys. Um, it's crazy because today I don't have an appetite for anything and I'm so bad I have a really bad habit with like drinking coffee like very often and it fills me up right and then sometimes I lose my appetite for like my actual meal um, And today right now we're gonna be making coffee <laughs> We're just gonna we're just gonna do it because you know, it just is what it is. I'm a coffee lover and 
funny enough i think when one of you approached me saying try that coffee then i got someone else saying it and someone else saying it i don't even think i had seen it at that point so we're gonna be making dalgona coffee i guess that's how you pronounce it dalgona dalgona i don't know um, but yeah it's like this whole trend that's going around right now and everybody's making like their own recipes there's like matcha recipes now this is just gonna be my first impression i've never tried it out before so i want to do it with you guys what was i gonna say i am gonna be doing a video and i think it's just gonna be kind of on its on its own um, where I'm gonna do my Starbucks drinks at home, my favorite Starbucks drinks. I have two main ones um, that I'm gonna be filming for you guys. So that's definitely something coming up. I'm gonna be doing a new wedding in a day because I bought a bunch of groceries that I have to use up. And I have a Portuguese recipe in mind that I like to make too. So I think I'm gonna do that with you guys. Some strange noises today. Basically, you have to do the same ratio of coffee Asukar and um, hot water. So let's do it. Let's get started. Okay, you're going to need instant coffee. This one's actually a decaf. Wow, they just went flying all over the place. I'm not going to be whisking this by hand. I have this beautiful little battery powered one. Um, then I don't have white sugar. I don't have that in my house. So I'm just using raw sugar. Put, it says it's a one to one to one ratio. So you have to put the same amount of everything. So I'm going to do two spoons of coffee. I don't like this part where we're putting two spoons of sugar because I don't like my well I like my coffee sweet but I don't like it sweetened with you know this stuff right here this was literally just boiled so let's go slowly stuff because you only need two tablespoons of this one two oh my god this is exciting and now the beauty is to blend this or whisk it sorry until it becomes oh this is not gonna be good oh this is not gonna be good it's just not I, I can just see this thing flying all over the place oh my this is not gonna be good oh hell no oh hell okay no okay that's not gonna work <laughs> guys do not use the easier option did i get it on my sweater because i am just Always an epic fail for that. No, let's just do it with whisk. Whatever. So you basically have to sit here and do this. Apparently this takes like um, five minutes to do or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna do this for five minutes because I'm obviously not gonna, you guys can already tell how it's changed. Okay, so fairly quickly, you guys, I got this kind of like lighter color. It's supposed to be like really, really light. So I was able to turn this guy on once it became like a little bit more blended up because it's not going to like, it's still going to go everywhere. But you'll notice that once you really use the whisk, it starts to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And I'm going to show you guys once it becomes that really whipped kind of texture. Y'all, I thought I was so slick, eh, for using that whisk thing. Not a good idea because it's not powerful enough to get through this thickness. And you guys, I lifted it up a little bit and this splattered all over the place. And I literally just finished, like look at my cloth. I literally just finished cleaning everything up. It went on my chairs in front of me. It went on my entire counter. I honestly think it's almost done because this is pretty thick, you guys. Like this is how thick it is. Kind of looks like a whipped light uh, caramel or something. It's kind of changing color right now. It's getting like lighter. I think this is a good consistency. I don't think we need to go any further. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me when I'm done whisking, I'm just like, I don't think we need to do anymore. So I'm going, my arms are getting tired. Okay, so this is what we are left with. We have our cup, which the coffee also went all over, so I had to clean it. Um, you're going to need a little bit of ice, so let me grab that. So I have my ice in these trays. Which one is loose? I always check which one is loose. <laughs> it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. Okay, I usually do three when it comes to this cup when I'm doing any kind of ice drink. It says to use milk. I'm going to be using almond milk because I don't have um, milk. I feel like you guys will appreciate this angle. I think I'm going to put that much milk. 
comment down below if you guys are as excited as I am or if you guys have tried this let me know your thoughts down below I need a little bit more milk because hey okay, y'all ready for this part oh my god I'm so excited I'm gonna remove the straw for this part Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try you because I love coffee. Oh my God. Make sure I get all of this in here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this looks really, really good, y'all. Like, look how thick this is. All right, guys, let's try it out. So let's mix this guy up. I've seen people mix it they don't just drink it like that because it wouldn't make any sense okay so it's pretty mixed up now let's see if this is gonna be a new fave or what because I've heard like a lot of good reviews and then I've seen people say like this thing is disgusting so it could go either way it's not sweet enough um yeah, my first impression is that it's not sweet enough. It's very, very coffee. Thank God. I wanted to make it like all pretty and like really get to the top. But thank God I did not because it's, I don't know, my iced coffee, I really like milk it down, water it down because I put a ton of milk. But this is like hella coffee and I just put two tablespoons. It's not, this is not something I would like make. I'm being honest with you, it's not. Oof, y'all see that? I think if I put more almond milk and if I put some of my sugar-free vanilla, I think we would be golden. See, it got better when I put some milk in it. So, I mean, I think if you're a coffee lover and you love the strong taste of coffee, I think you might like this. But if you're like me and you just like the taste of coffee but not like really 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 in your face then I don't know if it's for you you know what I'm saying yeah like I don't taste this and go oh mm, my god like yeah, I would have to rate this like a a four out of ten five it slid I want to like replay that reaction because I was really scared there This was not cute. <gasps> this was not cute. Who the hell drinks this? I keep sipping on it thinking it's going to change. It looks cute though, but it's not. Hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> I definitely recommend to try it because you never know. This might be like your next like favorite coffee everything kind of at home themed i really want to bring your way because i know this is like the perfect time um but if you guys have not checked out my other wedding in a day i just posted it it's so 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 good so make sure you guys go check it out it has a shrimp pasta recipe um it has a strawberry shortcake tasting smoothie like oh my god it's so good because i know you guys want some like home recipes right now but let me know if there's any other specific videos you guys want to see in the channel please leave it down below again if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe or if you are not new make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell and sign up for notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads and also follow me on ig it is at steph g macedo Please stay safe. Please stay home. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and that it made you, you know, made your day a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.